Today I'm going to show you the Informatica Data Services native ODBC driver configuration. In version 9.1 we don't have a ODBC driver I mean specific to the data services. All we had is a JDBC ODBC bridge. So basically if you are trying to access the SQL data services from an external client like a JDBC SQL tool what happens is like uh, the volumes of data is getting like delayed in terms of the performance so in, in, in keeping that in mind our Informatica has developed a new native ODBC driver which will solve the performance issues so our agenda for the session today is when was this data services native ODBC driver introduced? So starting version 951 we have this driver. So and also I'm going to show you how to configure the ODBC parameters like ODBC INI and ODBC INST.ini files, setting up the environment variables related to the native ODBC drivers and then run a simple ODBC test and check the connection status. So these are the two types of installer you we have starting 951. So this is a JDBC ODBC installer on the JDBC ODBC PC installer. So basically we should use the JDBC ODBC PC installer if you're trying to access the SQL data services using the JDBC drivers. And this is a native ODBC driver which you need to install if you want to take advantage of the native ODBC driver functionality from Informatica data services. Remember, you need to use a JDBC underscore ODBC underscore installer if you want to take advantage of our native driver functionality. Now I'm going to show you the installers, how it installs and what are the packages and files you get with the ODBC drivers. This native ODBC driver will in turn has a JDBC driver as well as the fully functional native ODBC drivers. So when I go to the ODBC DRV directory, you would be able to see a lot more files. This everything is related to the ODBC drivers. So on the library name which is you're gonna use for the ODBC driver is this one, like let's minus LRT and then this file. So this is what you need to specify it at the ODBC INA file. I'm gonna show you a simple environment variable section which has the configuration of the ODBC INI, ODBC INST, lib path and the path variables. You can see here the ODBC INI values so which is pointing to the ODBC INI and the ODBC INST which is a very required parameter if you want to use a native ODBC driver respect to the data services. First I will show you the parameters inside the ODBC INI file. So you can see here I'm going to use um, a specific ODBC INI file, I mean the data source, this is the one like, uh, so the driver which is nothing but it's pointing to the installation directory and it is libinfo ads odbc.a file and then I got to provide the host name as well as the port number and then the SQL data service name that has to be prefixed with the application name. And this is how the ODBC section should look like in case of configuring the native data services ODBC driver. You are seeing a .a file for the ODBC driver because this is an AAX platform. So basically .so is related to the Linux as well as the Solaris but .a is related to the AAX environment. Next thing which I'm going to show is the ODBC INST values so this is mandatory in case if you want to use the native ODBC driver so when I open the INST file you need to have an entry like this one like Informatica data services ODBC driver 951 and specifying the driver and the path of it and then specifying the setup and then a path of it You can have either the .so or .a because I have created a .so file which has a soft link to a .a file. So I'm making use of the ODBC INA as well as ODBC INST file from the installation directory of the 951HF2 and by default it has the ODBC 7.0 installer. So on that installer I'm using the ODBC INA file and ODBC INST.ini file. 
So the next thing is we need to configure the lib path as well as the path variables. So in the lib path, you just have to append the driver directory where the ODBC driver is installed. So this is the installation directory where the ODBC drivers are installed. You, sh you don't have to append it with the file name, the ODBC driver name, but you just have to specify the path. And you have to uh, append the data direct ODBC driver, um, the driver manager, so which is ODBC 7.0 slash lib. And the next one is you need to provide the path for that. And the path environment variable is same, so you should specify the ODBC driver installer directory, so which is home VIKUMAR ODBC drivers ODBC DRV. So now I've shown you what are the parameters which you need to um, specify it in the ODBC INI file and the ODBC INST.ini file. So it, it's not mandatory to use these files that comes with the power center installation. You can use your own files, but make sure these parameters are configured prop properly. And the next one is setting up the environment variables. So, so the environment variables are sp very specific to this native ODBC driver. So you need to, all you need to remember is these four variables. One is the ODBC INI, ODBC INST, and then the lib path variable and the path variable. So once you have set all these four environment variables, so you are all set. You are uh, able. You should be able to connect to the SQL data services using the native ODBC driver. So this is the path where I have a simple ODBC test connection utility. So its name is SSG ODBC. So it's it's very simple. I have the syntax already in place. So this is the syntax. And once again, minus D is nothing but the DSN name and the username and the password. So if I execute this, now I will know whether I'm able to connect successfully to the SQL data services using the native ODBC data services driver. Okay, I'm, I'm getting a message saying connected and the ODBC driver version is 5.2 which is nothing but the driver manager and the DMEMS name so the database which I'm connecting which is nothing but the virtual table where the SQL data services is deployed and then the version and then the driver name so this is the driver native ODBC driver and the version of the driver. So I'm going to recap what I have uh, told you. So the first thing, very important thing to uh, start with the native ODBC drivers configuration is ODBC INA file and the ODBC INST file. So when you um, go into the ODBC INA file, I'm going to show you again the parameters so this is the ODBC section which is pretty much required in order to connect to the data SQL data services. So the data integration name and the driver, it has to be the driver name with the full path where the ODBC drivers are installed. And then the host name of the Informatica where the SQL data service is deployed and the port number under the SQL data service name. Remember the SQL data service name has to be prefixed with application name. Otherwise you are gonna get an error and then the optional parameters. And the second one which I'm going to show you is the ODBC INST file. So this is pretty much required. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, there you go. So you'll have to place a simple section with Informatica data services ODBC driver 951 with the driver name and its complete path and the file name and the setup which should have the complete path of the ODBC driver install listen directory and the f file name. So after that you need to make sure the lib path has appended with the ODBC driver directory and then the driver manager directory. So and then the path variable should have the ODBC driver installation directory. So apart from that um, you should be good to go with the connection to the SQL data service. Thank you very much for listening to the video. We would love to hear from you. Please email us with your feedback at support videos at informatica.com and tutor us at informatica support. I'm sorry, info support. Thank you very much. Bye.